Hello dear friends, today we are in the city of Manresa, the cradle of the Jesuit order, the well-known Society of Jesus. Join me to visit the places where its founder lived, St. Ignatius of Loyola. I am Pedro Enrique Pujals and this is my channel El Tesoro del Presidente. St. Ignatius, founder of the Society of Jesus, was born in Loyola, Basque Country, in 1491, into a family of Gentile men. Being his second brother, he opted for a career in arms, and at the age of 30 he was wounded in the Battle of Pamplona, when he was defending the city from French troops. During his long convalescence he dedicated himself to reading religious books and books on the lives of the saints, which would lead him to strengthen his Catholic faith. He was left lame from his wounds and useless for arms, which decided him to consecrate himself to the religious life, for which he had already felt a vocation. He made a pilgrimage to the monastery of Montserrat, where he hung his sword in front of the Virgin, as a sign that he was leaving the militia, and gave away his clothes, exchanging them for rags. 500 years ago, in March 1522, Ignatius of Loyola came down from Montserrat to Manresa, which is a nearby city. There, in a cave near the Cardina River, sheltered from the elements, but with a magnificent panoramic view of the mountain of Montserrat, the Cathedral of Santa Maria, known as La Siu, Ignatius of Loyola spent a season as a hermit, meditating and praying. Over the years, an imposing sanctuary was erected over this simple cave, which ended up becoming the most monumental and lavish building in the city. In Manresa the drastic change of his life took place, he decided to stop being a solitary pilgrim and work for the good of souls with companions who wanted to follow him on his way, that is why the Jesuits consider Manresa as the cradle city of their order.
As he prayed, he wrote down his experiences in this retreat, writings that gave rise to the first version of his celebrated spiritual exercises. At first, they were not written for the public but were a set of notes made by the saint in his times of prayer, but soon they became a spiritual book of prayers and mental exercises, designed to be performed for a period of one month in a secluded place of retreat without any distraction, such as the cave, and aimed to orient the person towards God in the Catholic faith. Currently there are several variants of these exercises depending on availability and what one is looking for and needs in their life, even for some years there has been the online modality. Ignatius of Loyola began his studies based on his method of spiritual exercises. His activities made him suspect before the Inquisition, to prevent the accusations from prospering, Ignatius voluntarily wanted a formal process to be opened where he was publicly declared innocent. He continued his studies in Paris, where he found followers such as Francis Xavier, and together they started the Society of Jesus. They traveled to Italy, where they were ordained priests, and in Rome Pope Paul III in 1540 approved the Society of Jesus, or as it is commonly known, the Jesuits. Ignatius, based on his experiences in the militia, gave the order a structure similar to the military one, and Ignatius of Loyola was elected its first general. The society spread throughout Europe and throughout the world, playing a combative role in the field of ideas, which allowed it to play an important role in the success of the Counter-Reformation, which was the movement with which the Catholic Church opposed the Protestant Reformation. They had a marked evangelizing character and collaboration with the most disadvantaged in backward societies, reflected in the numerous missions they founded throughout America. Ignatius of Loyola died on July 31, 1556, in his cell in the house of the Society in Rome, of a gallbladder disease. Saint Ignatius of Loyola was canonized in 1622 by Pope Gregory XV, together with that of Francis Xavier, his companion in the foundation of the Jesuit order. The ceremony took place in Rome. The Society of Jesus is very independent, it is only obliged to answer for its actions before the Pope, which brought problems with governments and empires on numerous occasions, for example for Philip II of Spain they were very papist, while for France and even for some popes, they were considered too Spanish, so they were expelled from several countries. And they were banned on several occasions. In more recent times they have been linked to liberation theology, the priests murdered in El Salvador in the 80s of the last century were Jesuits, and the current Pope Francis was also a Jesuit father. So far today's video, I hope you have found it interesting, if so I ask you to leave me a like, that this helps me a lot, and remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so that you do not miss the next installments. See you later!